My name is Natalie May. I am wearing a pattern shirt. I identified as a female. Wait. Oh, you can just watch it. <laughs> I go to Portland State University in Oregon. I self-identified as a first-generation uh, immigrant, uh, first-generation college student, uh, single mom, and teen mom. I feel comfortable saying that I'm a scientist because I am a scientist and it's always been my dream since I was five years old. I love science and I like fighting for my dreams. <laughs> wow! <clears throat> that is really, really nice to watch. Being, you know, in front of everybody presenting my research project, it just... I just can't believe, you know, that I was part of that experience. You know, my research project has brought me to where I am today, which is really good. And I'm doing, you know, I'm putting in practice, actually, that specific project that I was working on and presented uh, when I did this video. It used to be difficult, you know, prior to that interview for me to say that I was a scientist, but now I'm so used to people looking at me that way. It's, you know, it's, it's bittersweet to be able to go back to those moments and, you know, um, how I used to see myself and how I see myself now. Thank you guys. <laughs> that got me a little emotional, to be honest. And my focus is mental health, right? Uh, social science, psychology. So we see a lot of depression, um, you know, like the panic during the pandemic, a lot of mental health. So with that, um, I was able, so I'm currently working at Catholic Charities, the headquarters here in Portland, um, Oregon. And I am actually the people the person that connects people with resources and within our organization we have a mental health department so i feel like putting in practice everything that i've learned um in classrooms in uh, my research lab especially my research lab because the population that i was working with during um uh, working on my research compared to the population that I'm working with now is similar. Um, and I'm just able, like I was able to bring that science into my workplace. And I, I have actually seen a lot of change. Being able to be part of their experience of, uh, you know, see their change and uh, the mental health progress. You know, I was, I, I said it in that interview, but like, I feel like you know, science has brought me to where I am today, and I'm very proud of it. And you know, my job is really hard. People call it hard, but for me, it's it's a blessing. I I am happy that I can be that person. You know, that can um, help shift. I always doubt myself. Um, I always doubt myself ever for everything. And if I, you know, the advice that I will give my young self will be to trust myself, to believe in me more. Because, you know, at the end of the day and at the end of everything, every time, um, you know, I choose something and I trust that it, it, it takes me, it, you know, it kind of like drives me to where I belong. And then with the doubts that I had going through my career, it, I made it more difficult for myself, but yet um, I did it. But if I were to trust myself more and believe in me more, then I, it would have had been so much easier.